If you've been struggling with consistency for as long as I have, then I'd like to share with you the one key mindset shift that has helped me personally be able to go to the gym four to five times a week and read at least 30 pages a day without even realizing it. Now repeat after me. I am what I consistently do. Now I don't have to give you a like five hour rant on micro decisions and why small habits lead to big results. We've all read The Slight Edge by now. Brilliant book, 10 on 10, would recommend. I will, however, read you this passage that has truly influenced the way I personally look at routines and staying consistent. And I quote, trying to get rid of an unwanted habit is a bit like trying not to think about an elephant. The more you try not to think about it, the more you think about it. That's because what we focus on grows. Surprise, surprise, am I right? Which is why people who put a lot of energy into focusing on what they don't want by talking about it, thinking about it, complaining about it, or fretting about it usually get precisely that unwanted thing. It's tough to get rid of a habit you don't want by facing it head on. The way to accomplish it is to replace the unwanted habit with yet another habit that you do want and creating new and better habits, one that empower and serve you is something you know how to do. You do it the same way you build any habit you have, one step at a time, the slight edge. The key takeaway here is the union of focus and time. You become more consistent by actively focusing on the habits that you want to repeatedly do and you give those habits the time they need to become almost like second nature to you. But again, I'm sure this isn't that new to you. I mean, obviously, if you want to study consistently, you have to focus on sitting at your desk every day and do just that, correct? This is where Granny Anna would like to add her two cents in. The secret to consistency and routines that stick is, drumroll please, self-perception. How do you see yourself? What are your values? What is your worth? What do you believe in? And what do you think you deserve? If you believe that you're a loser and can't do anything right, there is no guide or top five consistency hacks that will be able to help you stick with your study or exercise routine. Believe me, I've been there. I mean, yes, some people use fear or self-hatred to motivate themselves, but those strategies are often unhealthy, short-lived, and unfulfilling. If you think this sounds a little bit far-fetched, let's take a second look at the psychological proof that I'm basing this on. Cognitive consistency theory. Now, cognitive consistency is a psychological theory that proposes that humans are motivated by inconsistencies and a desire to change them. Cognitive inconsistency causes imbalance in individuals and the tension from this imbalance motivates people to alter these inconsistencies. When this tension is reduced, balance is achieved in the individual, yada, 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 we are all a happy camper, right? In case I lost you, let's go back to the I'm a loser example. Now, if you believe you're a good for nothing scum of the earth, why would you work hard and get an A on your sociology tests? Loser versus acing a test. These two don't really seem to match, there is an inconsistency there and that doesn't balance, right? So what do you do? You procrastinate, your routine goes out the window and you fail your exam. But you know what? Cognitively speaking, you will be satisfied. You tell yourself, see, I knew it, I was right, I'm a loser. There's the proof. So before you look up 10 easy ways to be more consistent and stick to your healthy habits, start by learning about yourself. Begin with kindness and introspection. Now, if you don't know how to do that, I've compiled some of the best and my personal favorite exercises, self-assessments, and other psychological tools in my manifestation planner over on Etsy. Learn from my mistakes, guys. Don't skip the most critical step when it comes to consistency, self 
knowledge. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. But before ending this video, I'd like to tell you a little bit about today's sponsor, Shein. I've been buying from their website long before I even started my YouTube channel. And I have pieces from them that I've worn for years and they're still going strong. Super excited to bring them out rotten time for back to school. I know you hate hearing about this, but it's a comment. I'm honestly really happy to see Shein listening to all of her comments and making a conscious effort to incorporate more recycled and organic materials in their new items and even starting an eco-friendly collection. If you ask me, this is definitely a start in the right direction and with every collaboration I always make it a point to encourage them to keep going and keep doing better. I invite you to click in the link down below to take a peek at any or all of the pieces I've shown during this mini clip. I am particularly loving the dresses, joggers, sportswear, and the, might I say, haba haba ooh la lingerie section. Don't forget to use my coupon code Q2 Animascara at checkout for a little something something just for you. Thank you so much for watching once again. I will see you next time. Bye!